it's Jeff. I'm out in the arcade body shop. So sorry for the delay in uh, videos coming out. I actually broke my video camera. It, uh, the screen just snapped on it and I couldn't see anything. Um, so I'm going to start filming with the phone for a little bit, uh, but I'm, I'm putting it on hold because I want the footage to match because I already got a good part of uh, the Pac-Man Restore already filmed. Um, so I'm just waiting for the camera to get back. should be here any day now. But in the meantime, I took the time to clean up the garage, and I want to show you some of the progress. And then my anniversary is coming up uh, very shortly, and my amazing, beautiful arcade wife just surprised me with like the biggest thing that I could ever, ever, ever expect. I, it was so unexpected. I heard the truck backing up, and I was like, what is this? And, uh, and it, it blown away. So I'll show you that in a second. So let's take a look around the shop and see how much room I got now. All right, so we've been cleaning out in the shop. Look at how much space I have for activities. Look at it. Uh, everything's still kind of a little messy, but uh, definitely got a lot more room. Got some organization. Got the tubes up. Um, got got a lot more room to work. Like I could I could fit a lot more cabinets in here, which I don't think my wife would like. But uh, what I did is I just doubled up uh, some of the projects and did them all around the outside. And then I also built this shelf up top. Uh, the shelf used to be underneath the window, but I raised everything up and, and got it up in the air. And uh, I'm going to leave this wall open for something I'm going to show you in a second that's going to blow your mind. But I uh, did, uh, did shelves all there, and I think I'm actually going to do them up above the garage doors on that side. So, again, i got a lot more room. Uh, got my chop saw. This is a new table that I got, that wooden table. Uh, I'm going to uh, retrofit that for my chop saw table. Um, got this band saw. Got it from a guy in Letgo for 60 bucks. Um, it, the guy's granddad was a machinist and uh, actually built this bandsaw and it worked perfectly. I just wanted to update it. So I'm putting new bearings in it, uh, redoing the motor down to the bottom. It's all belt driven and uh, just giving it a good refresher. But that's going to be so awesome to cut different angles and stuff. Um, got my sandblast cabinet. I'm going to build a base on that, throw it up on wheels so I can move it around. Also just got a new air compressor that's going to run everything in the shop. So we're doing some upgrades while I'm waiting on the camera. That's the uh, four-player X-Men. Got a bunch of different uh, different projects coming. That is the uh, Flood Pack, man. Give you a quick look. And uh, what's that? Samson's. So we got a lot of crazy projects, a lot of things to go. I got pole positions for days. One of those is mine. Two of those are getting done for a client. Uh, that's going to be done here very shortly. And uh, But what I wanted to show you guys, hang on. Let me move over here. This is truly amazing because my wife I saw this I thought it was out of my price range my wife made a deal for me and look at this sign guys 12 feet by 4 feet full neon amazing games is going to be going up on this back wall up over all the games and uh, I was talking to my buddy Matt Schwartz he remembers this sign he used to DJ at Jillian's back in the day the you know kind of like Dave and Buster's before Dave and Buster's and uh you know I'm a huge Red Sox fan as you can see and I used to go to Jillian's outside of Fenway Park, and he said that the Amazing Games was like the area inside of Jillian's where it said the Amazing Games. But uh, this is a full neon sign, 12 feet by 4 feet. The neon's intact on this side, so I'm kind of excited. I got no way to hook it up right now. It was cut off when it was done. Um, but it, it, Amazing Games, and it's got like awesome artwork on it, man. It looks like Amazing Spider-Man, but it, you know, a new novel by Rod Phillips. Amazing games, you know, men sought the secret of eternal life in the empire of women by John Fletcher. But, um, yeah, the graphics are amazing. That's why it says amazing. Um, but the cool thing is, it's actually two-sided. So this is a double-sided double, double uh, sided, uh, sign. What I'm actually going to do is I'm splitting this in half. Um, the neon's broke on this side, and... Uh, so what I think I'm going to get is some of that uh, LED neon rope light, and I'm going to redo this in rope light, and one side's going to go inside my house, and the other side's going to go up on that back wall. So it's so cool to have something out of Jillian's. Like, I didn't know where this came from. The guy who dropped it off didn't know the backstory of it. Um, but, dude, look at that thing. Oh, man, I am so excited. I cannot wait for that to have the glow of... What lit sex in the window like Christmas story? <laughs> like it's gonna be so bright in here. Uh, the tubes on this thing are almost like one inch thick. So um, yeah, it's gonna go up on that back wall, up above the windows there, and uh, I'm gonna split it in half and uh, move the transformers down low uh, so they won't have to be up on the wall. 
and uh, hook this up with like a French cleat or something. But I am so excited. My wife surprised me, got this, got this for me uh, for our anniversary, which is coming up on November 20th. And uh, oh my God, I can't believe I even own something like this. So it's going to be awesome because this room eventually is going to be my game room. Um, it's kind of game room slash shop right now until I get everything fixed. But what sort of marquee piece in the middle there, literally, to have something like that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am just blown away that I even own something like this and super excited. So we'll do a video on that of me actually installing that. You know, we'll get it wired up and see if the neon's still working and, uh, and go from there. So, yeah. All right, man. Well, sorry for the delays again. Uh, I broke the camera. Actually, the camera broke on me. I didn't do it. But uh, we, we, we're going to be picking up on the Pac-Man. I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is the Pac-Man that was underwater, man. And it's actually looking pretty good. Inside still has mud on it. Check it out. Yeah. So we'll get this thing, uh, this thing back to normal. Uh, did some work on it already, and you guys will see that footage soon. But I had to share this, guys. All right. Stay tuned. Keep subscribing. Share with your friends. Uh, I promise the channel is coming along. Uh, just had a little bump in the road with the camera, and that's going to be fixed soon. So till then, stay amazing, guys. I will talk to you soon.